Can't have a podcast without a video that accompanies it. Uh, a little more difficult this week, but where there's a will, there's a way uh, with the Bite Me podcast. First things first, let's look at where we are right now. We're having a little bit of vacation, but the podcast never takes a break. John Lopez, Captain Dean Thomas, if you've downloaded the podcast, if you've seen it uploaded on YouTube and iTunes and Spotify or wherever you get your podcast, that's great. But we got to have a video that goes with it. And lo and behold, look where we are, Captain Dean. We are On in location we are in week. paradise. We've had uh, macaws greeting us every morning. We've had something called a kinkajou that was feeding. Well, you're feeding it from your hand. Oh yeah. Our wives were feeding it. Uh, this is truly paradise. We are in Costa Rica, beautiful Los Sueños, Costa Rica. We're going to get into some details on that, and then we're going to get into some details on. That's going to be very relative to our How podcast it relates. listeners. Yeah. How it relates to what we talk about every week to our people out there. Yeah. But it's, it's just awesome to be able to bring the show from remote locations. Yeah. We've reached a new uh, plateau in the podcast. We have. Wherever we are in the world, we've had a great adventure. Let's start with the adventure, Dean, and we can kind of talk through this video as we're doing it. And then we'll get into some of the details of what fishermen in Aransas Pass, Houston, Galveston, Sabine, Florida, Louisiana, Louisiana, how it all guys, relates to what we were doing here yesterday. Here we are on the boat, uh, getting on the boat with our uh, lovely better halves. Uh, take us through some of this as we're getting on. Man, fishing with Maverick Sport Fishing out of Los Sueños here in Jaco, Costa Rica is amazing. I've come down here for the past few years. We had a break during COVID. We spent a couple years missing this place. Awesome to have you down here showing you what we enjoy. But absolutely, the marina, world class. Maverick Sport Fishing, the best on the planet. The billfish fishery off the coast that we're sitting here looking at today off yeah. of our porch is the best in the world. And we got a taste of that yesterday. We got a really good taste of it. And, uh, you know, of course, we're always thinking fishing, uh, no matter where we are in life. This was one of our bigger moments that we wanted to enjoy together as friends as uh, and share with our podcast viewers. Uh, just to take us through here, there you see some of the baits that we were using. The crew, uh, take us through the that. Baits, these guys are rigging up. And we talk about on the podcast what captains go through every day, the preparation to make that trip happen. And then we get there and we get to watch the other guys yeah. do it for us while we sit back and enjoy the fun. But yes, the preparation that they put into it, the rigging of the baits, getting us loaded on the boat, and getting us out there to where we start fishing is a lot of effort. Here's the other part of this that's, uh, uh, we're getting into some of the, the first strikes that we had, which we really, and we'll dig into that a little more, it was really not exactly hot and heavy, but it was very, very exciting. We started Early. off with crazy action within yeah. 30 minutes of the boat stopping the lines in the water we're hooking fish and then we went through the same struggles we talk about every day yeah and we'll get into that but a little bit of background here that's my wife on the rod right there jan uh, who has never ever ever caught a billfish in her life and this is where we doubled up but just to finish that story there's carry on one and she uh, spoiler alert she ended up losing that one while jan got her first 100 inch sailfish and what jan didn't know and shout out to, to maverick for helping us with this because they're they're getting them out done going into this trip I was thinking, you know, we're ultimately going to get a little house down in Aransas Pass. I've been dragging my trailer from Sabine to Matagorda to Aransas, and ultimately we're going to get a house. So I was already thinking on the airplane ride down here, I said, if Jan catches a nice sailfish, I'm going to go ahead and get it mounted, and uh, we'll, that'll be our first uh, piece of, uh, I guess, uh, memorabilia for there. And you can see just a beautiful fight. Let's go through this right here. Dude, the most amazing thing is to watch her get her first billfish. Yeah. I've fished down here. I've caught a lot of those. I understand the rush that comes with it but to watch her do that for the first time and understand the emotions that she's going through and the pressure is on her you know she knows that everybody's watching her That's catch it. this fish hooked up on a sailfish out here in the pacific ocean That's is right one of the there. most amazing things you'll ever see and this is not a paid endorsement this is something that we both enjoy doing we do a lot of unpaid endorsements just because of things that we like maverick sport fishing top notch beginning to end from when you call them when you talk to them on the phone when you're booking a trip they never leave you hanging on the phone their instant response from the time you start booking your trip to when you come here and check in at the gate till the time you step on that boat until you step off of that boat their attention to detail is unmatched they live up to that standard yeah, yeah. 
moment we stepped on the boat, they said Captain Carlos, and then we had uh, uh, Antonio, and then we had Pato, Duck, Pato, he looked like my middle son. <laughs> moment we step on there, uh, they say, well, what are you guys looking for? Now, that's the first most key thing. We both wanted our, our wives to be able to catch a, a billfish. Yep. But then myself and your son, DJ, mm -hmm. Dean Thomas Jr., we were like, I kind of kind of want to get a tuna. I kind of yeah. want to get So yeah. they that well, their, their game plan changed the in fact. that moment. And they delivered completely throughout yeah. the day. And this was in the morning right here. I'll go ahead and start the video again so we can pick up on that story. So she's going to get that. You're going to see it uh, on the side. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous sailfish, 100-inch sailfish that uh, they were able to, to land. You're going to be able to see them grab it. She grabbed it, so it was and really cool. And when Jan got her oh sailfish, the... The pressure was off was of the day from there. The day, the day, the day was day. complete. Everything from there was cream on the cake. Uh, the day was complete right there. Look at that thing. And she got to, to get it as well. All right, so then there you see us uh, with the sailfish. You see her with the sailfish. And you're, you're taking a picture. A better shot right there with Carrie, myself in the background. But then we started looking, and this is where it becomes more of a podcast topic. Because here we are. The exact same things that happened on your boat, on my boat, were happening. They were finicky with some of the baits that were thrown. Got to celebrate the fish right there first. Oh, man. Uh, but, like, isn't it amazing? Here we are in Central America, and all the things that can translate from there are still happening here. A hundred percent. And then the guys on the boat. Okay, well, first of all, we, we started out hooking fish catching fish and we're all fired up we're pumped up it's like oh man this is gonna be it and then we hit a slow spell yeah. and then you could sense the crew the captain on the boat mm -hmm. is feeling the same pressure and i've said this on the podcast <laughs> many times your captain wants you to catch fish more than you want to catch a fish yeah. those guys have a lot on the line they want to see it happen and we went through a slow spell well you can see it right here she just missed one Oh, they just, this those were heartbreakers. She missed how like many, three or four in a row. How many times were we were short, sitting there short, and the, the line would pop out of the outrigger, yeah. it would pop out of the clip, she runs to the chair, yeah. gloves on, and they just didn't eat the short bait. Short strike. Seven strikes we missed. All we got was the head back. Seven, the head of the here was seven all strikes <laughs> that did not get hooked up. But that's what we do. And then, of course, we got the happy dance that was ever important because once we got Dean dancing, Things started to change again for the better. Now you didn't know we put this in the video. No, sometimes you <laughs> sometimes hey man we Look at this, look what happened. Oh yeah. We cranked the music up, <laughs> we turned on some ACDC, and things started start to get live have, again. We're gonna have to dance again at some point here. But and there is nothing. You that, yes. changed. Yeah. And she got hers right here. Another beautiful uh, sailfish. Um, and, and 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 obviously everybody's reeling in there. They're getting it done. Uh, we'll stop right there again real quick because I think what's important here is she missed and she missed and she missed. These guys were determined. They were doing little circles on this one plateau. We were about, I'm guessing, I didn't ask, 35 to 40 miles off off of uh, the shore here. In the 30-mile range. Yeah. And amazing here in Costa Rica, you run the boat 45 minutes, the lines are in the water, yeah. and you are in world class fishing i mean we call our stuff world class fishing on the flats of texas yeah. and it's pretty damn close but when you talk about the planetary scale what we're doing out here yeah. is the best on the planet the crew though what was crazy about those guys is every time no matter if they were stopping chatting with us entertaining with us putting drinks out putting snacks on the table oh, when that line popped out of that outrigger yeah. they were like lightning yeah. they were on that rod no matter where their attention was they their focus <laughs> they were making bean dip but their focus was still a hundred percent on those lines that were in the water yeah so we'll continue this okay so now we're happy we you know we're obviously trying to get some oh, more, more billfish if we want the pressure yeah. was off at that point. yeah harry's got one and I was more just like, you know what, I kind of want to get a tuna. So then she, she finishes catching hers right here, and they got it landed right at the boat. You'll be able to see a beautiful, beautiful shot right here photos. into it the wash. Look at that, right show. through the wash of the, of, the, of the light blue water there, just gorgeous. And so then we did a little, trolled a little longer, looking for some other sailfish, see if we could get. But then you could see, and this is another, look at this beautiful shot right here from Amazing. underwater, fighting her sailfish there. Then you 
could see the wheels turning on the crew and the captain, we had mentioned tuna. So they start shifting gears a little bit. You can hear them on the radio with some other captains. You can see them with another boat kind of communicating. And then we started seeing the spinner dolphins. Of course. And we started seeing the little dolphin popping. And good, lo and behold, just like you can see the redfish, Dean, and they just won't eat. It was the exact same thing I mean, we, we except were, with, the do, with the tuna. We were watching tuna sky in the air. Yeah. But, and, the, and they took the time to explain it to us. So in the past, we have fished out here. We have chased the dolphins and we've pulled up on them and immediately, boom, just yeah. hooking tuna, triples, doubles at a time. But the tuna, just like every other fish, they're focused on bait. They're yeah. focused on what they're doing. So every time the boat would get close to the schools of tuna, they the captain down. on top was watching them on the sonar. Yeah. They just would not tolerate the boat. They would go straight down and they, they wouldn't tolerate us being there, yeah. and we just could not get the hook up on the tail. Could yeah. see them, could yeah. watch them, could not get them to bite. And that's what I'm saying. Like all our podcast listeners, hey, that happens with me with trout and redfish. Yeah, it happens oh, down here we've too. We've all been there. And this is where it's going to get really cool for me because the, as you see the tuna popping, you see the you see the the dolphin and some spinners uh, as well. Then you see what they start jigging and throwing. Yes. They start jigging like we well, like do. they down to very small lures. Yeah. I mean, we're, it was basically a soft plastic. Yep. It was like a one ounce jig head. Yeah. And we're in the dolphin right here. And at this point, absolutely. We have dolphins on both sides of the boat. There's tuna under the boat. They just not would not come up and hit what we were giving and them. And we tried this a good half hour. Look at and that. And there thing. it is, yeah. Does that look familiar? That's yeah. basically the same yeah. thing we throw, just a little bigger. Yeah, that's a speckled trout off the jetties right there. <laughs> that's a little curly tail. Uh, right there. But all in all, just an, an unbelievable trip. We got everything we wanted out of it. The ecosystem was uh, just bustling. We didn't even mention we saw a humpback whale. Uh, uh, we, we saw, I mean, we we're right up on it. It, it, it go the But other it, way. it was 100% mission accomplished. Yeah. Jan got her first billfish. Carrie hooked one, lost one, and then landed another, another one. one. Yeah. The seven strikes, just like every other day. The ones that you miss mm -hmm. keep you coming back for more and uh it's just absolutely a, a fantastic trip we're gonna have more of this but since we did the podcast without a video a live uh, feed this week uh we thought and and again thanks uh, to dj and and you for wanting to do this uh, just absolute paradise right here hey we, we could, got another trip tomorrow we got another trip tomorrow we didn't even mention that we're going on a 28 foot a little smaller boat yep. maybe catch some rooster maybe catch a what snapper. snapper and the chance for this. mahi yeah. and then the rogue sailfish yep. can still happen sailfish uh, i mean it, off the shore here you can go can five miles and you're in 600 feet happened. of water it's, yeah so yes another trip tomorrow bring home some dinner for the weekend yep. Good to go. And then four more days in paradise. And uh, I'll make you another one of those rum concoctions. Oh, man. Imagine. So then, yeah, we didn't mention that. John has, uh, <laughs> we've created, we've coined the OG. Pura Vida. Pura Vida. Especial. 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 It's, it's pineapple. It's mangoes. It's rum. It's <laughs> coconut. We crack the cocos. We pour the juice. We cut the, we cut the fruit. Oh, and yeah, man. Rum. Flor de Cana. Oh, yeah, and too. the Flor de Cana. Hey, guys, appreciate this. And there's, it's really a, a lesson learned uh, for us every day on the water, including when you're, what are we, uh, 1,200 miles away, 1,500 miles away from uh, the like Gulf of Mexico? The uh, you still learn. It's still fishing, and you're always learning. Appreciate you guys. Don't forget to leave a comment. We like to get that interaction with you guys because it's and always we'll, good for the we'll next put video. The, um, the link to Maverick Sport Fishing. And we'll do that I mean, as well. For people who want to do this trip, yeah. who want to come down, for to los sueños maverick sport fishing from where we're sitting here guys the marina we're looking at the boats Practically just, throw just a football a, in my across the days. thing so we'll be happy to <laughs> to connect you guys with the people that we fish with yeah and of course don't forget to subscribe to the podcast and this youtube channel uh and uh we really, really appreciate you guys uh joining us let's maybe do another one of these uh, thursday or friday hey man tomorrow we create some on the water magic. And then we're going to have the cameras with us. So of course. We'll, we'll be out there rolling tomorrow. All right. Stay tuned. Appreciate it.